I'm not sure that a lot of people in the scene really took it that, really kind of considered that uh, idea of taking it to the next step and, and doing the live shows. But now that we've got things like Nerdapalooza and folks are coming together for that, people are kind of like, oh wait, these, these shows are really fun. Um, maybe we should be doing some more of those. But. And do you feel that maybe people don't do shows as much just because hip hop isn't necessarily as easy to, you know, it's not a guy with a guitar on stage. You know, it, it tends to be a little more complicated. Even famous hip hop artists don't necessarily tour as much as, say, your typical rock and roll band. Well, it's also, I think, the for a lot of the artists um, that are kind of coming into this, when you're doing, and you're recording something in your bedroom, you can kind of, oh, wait, I flubbed that line, let me re-record it. Um, where, with the, when you're in a live setting, it's, you know, you, you have to kind of go with it. And, um, you know, you run into, with with hip-hop especially, you know, you, you got to make sure your breathing's right. You got to make sure you, you got your timing, uh, everything's timed out for your, you know, where you can take your breath and stuff like that. And there's that element that, you can get away with in the studio that I think a lot of uh, some of the folks have not quite mastered the stuff yet, so okay. they don't have the, the comfort level to okay, let's go do a show. Um, or if they're doing a show, it's you know in, the, in somebody's basement, mm -hmm. and, you know, just a party kind of thing. Okay. And I guess um, Wizard Rock really started touring by doing libraries, right? And so that was Harry and the Potter's first thing was that they wanted to play shows in libraries. And I mean, I guess Nerdcore doesn't really have, like, I guess libraries would be just as appropriate, you know, like maybe the science section or something, or the math <laughs> section of the library. But, you know, it's not just necessarily a general. Yeah, I think that the, if, if Nerdcore has that kind of a library, it's definitely not to that degree, but it, it tends to actually be more of like the comic book shop or the game shop, um, those kind of a things. Um, they, they kind of do it, but yeah, that is kind of part of it that, you know, uh, you know, there isn't this sort of ready-made venue that you can kind of go in and, and just kind of grab. Okay. And so in your experience being involved in both fandoms, what, I mean, when you go to a show, is it more or less that <coughs> we act the same? Like people at Nerdapalooza, are they, you know, Friends, and when you meet somebody, you hug them, and you know you've been talking online for the past six months, but you've never met face to face. And there, there is definitely, I mean, culturally, uh, nerdcore is not the, as um, focused on, 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 you know, everybody's got to love each other, and it's got to be this huge love fest. <laughs> um, it's a very, it's very honest in that if somebody doesn't like you, they're going to tell you to your face they don't like you, and. But one of the things, so last year, so last summer was the first Nerd of Blues that I went to, and one of the things that I did notice was the number of folks that just knew, that didn't seem, to, that animosity didn't seem to carry over into the real world. Um, and there was, uh, you know, a, a moment there where there were a couple of, of MCs that I knew uh, had had issues kind of online, and at one point I kind of turned around, and, oh yeah, they're, they're just chatting, you know, and just kind of, you know, talking about this and that, and so it's kind of like, Okay, so the thing is that, that sort of, you've lost that animosity, so it's a little harder to do that. But, um, the, the, the community's coming together. The community's really starting to, to gel more in real space than, than necessarily just online. Okay. And do you find the disparity between Wizard Rock having this, you know, a fictional end date, expiration date that the media has put on it versus Nerdcore where you know, we can be nerds forever, right? <laughs> so, and we can all grow up and have baby nerds if that's what we want to do. And so, I mean, this, this is the sort of thing that could well, continue. And that's, and that's one of the things that, that, that Nerdcore's been doing over the last couple of years, especially, is folks who've started to challenge what is considered Nerdcore. Okay. Um, so you've got, uh, folks, that there's a there's an MC out there called Random who actually started out in the underground hip hop scene, um, and was making a name for himself. Was, was was doing really well. He did an album called Mega Ran, which was a concept album based on the old video game Mega Man, that remixed a lot of the the, the sounds and stuff in it. And so he got associated with Nerdcore as part of, as part of that. And he's been sort of involved in the scene, but he's still also doing this sort of you know, more straight 
uh, underground hip hop stuff. And so that's sort of, you know, it, it's like, okay, well, you know, the, the scene has kind of gone from graphing about video games and, and comic books and stuff like that to talking about, our, you know, our lives and, and, and even in some cases to the point of, well, I'm a nerd, so anything I say is nerd. Um, kind of thing. So it's, there's that, that constant push and sort of evolution that's going on within the scene. Okay. And so, you know, in many ways it sounds like you guys have a very similar community to the Wizard Rock community, at least in, you know, what your mutual interests are and things yeah. like that. And I mean, I think most of us would self-identify as nerds. And so why, and I mean, this is for you guys as well, why don't we think there's been much overlap. I mean, I don't know about you, but like Matt is my only nerdcore friend, and I know a couple people that listen to it casually, but I don't know anybody else involved with it. And yet, I know all these people in the Wizard Rock fandom, and yet I don't really know any of them. I mean, is there anybody out here who would consider themselves part of the nerdcore community? Anyone else? Andrea, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, that's about... It, and so it just seems strange that, you know, something that is similar to us and, and is something that we can probably all relate to, yet we're not. And, I mean, do we I just... I feel like we're an intervention now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you guys to be <laughs> <friends. laughs> um, I would actually disagree. Uh, yeah. I think, I mean, I am not familiar with... I mean, I like the artists you're talking about, like MC Lars and Secret. I've heard them, I like it. Um, but from what I understand, like the nerdcore you're talking about is pretty based in hip hop. Yes. And well, it's it's nerdcore hip hop is right, the whole thing. Right. So I, I would ask the same question: How many people in here would identify themselves as associated with nerd fighting or nerd fighters? And you probably get a much larger, very shy response. <laughs> but if you were to look at sort of uh, music musically that is more similar to Wizard Rock, when you look at uh, Alex Day, when you look at Chameleon Circuit, when you look at Hank Green, you're going to find a much, much bigger crossover. And those are people who are talking about the same nerdy things, um, talking about games, video games, just general dorkdom, but it sounds more like what Steph and Tiana have played. So um, that Versus, I think is a, say, Stacey and Sea Creature, Danny Dementor. Right. And, but, but if you look at three the, very popular bands, you know? Right. And I mean, the well known bands with the I, I agree, but if you were to compare that, like compare Danny DeMentor, who I love dearly, to Harry Potter's, it's like a drop in the bucket of, right. of okay. name recognition. The same with Drake and the Mount Bush, with the Whomping Willows, with any of the most popular bands, um, with the exception of Swish and Flick, I think is the only one who's sort of knocking on the door of really widespread being known within the community. Um, all these bands are rock and roll bands, mm -hmm. and um, I think these well, kids are fans of rock and roll, and I, they, that's a big leap to jump into the hip hop. I, I, I agree with you to a certain extent. There are definitely a number uh, of folks within the nerdcore community that was like, oh, I never really listened to hip hop until they started rapping about what right. I was in. But you also, I mean, you have, I don't see a huge overlap with going along with your lines of sort of the Geek Rock stuff, the Darkest Still Side Thickets, the Kirby Crackles, the I-Fi Dragons, um, which who are the, you know, the, the rock and roll, um, you know, much more, more similar to kind of what you guys are doing. So there is there is still sort of a thing, and then yeah. the whole video game music thing. So yeah, I fight dragons. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you know, I guess. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I obviously it, there's there should be more overlap, but I think that there's definitely an overlap in that that nerd fighting community. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I, it's, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. This is off topic, but I just find I um to I guess shift gears. I find it really interesting that the nerdcore community is having almost the same battle that some of us are having with what we call meta wizard rock, mm -hmm. um, which I don't know if you guys have a term for it, where it's like, well, it's about me, it's about my experiences with wizard rock, so it can be considered wizard rock. Last night I dubbed it meta nerdcore. Right, a very creative That's way. Very, yeah. <laughs> but I think with, with the nerdcore stuff, just because it is so very open-ended, most like the nerdcore scene just sees that as nerdcore. I mean, right. it's just it's just another step in in, in, in what what it is you're talking about and, and how you're going to approach it. Yeah. 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 Y